Hey guys, and welcome to baby Lexi's four month update. So she is four months old. We just got back from work and both girls are napping. So since this is super rare, I decided in my uniform, I would grab a cup of coffee and do my quick update with you guys. So some of the things she loves, we'll start with that. Baby Lexi loves bath time. She is always happy and splashing. She just like can't get enough of it. She loves diaper changes. Um, anyone else's babies love that. She loves talking right now. She's like ooing and aahing. She says hi sometimes. If we say hi, she says hi back. Um, I'm trying to get her to say mama before dada because um, my other daughter who's three, almost four, said dada first. So I'm trying to get Lexi to say mama first. Um, she likes to stand up. She hates to sit. Like she hates being held like a baby. She hates um, like sitting in, we bought her this little like high chair thing, almost like a bumbo, but like something that'll last a little bit longer. She hates to sit in that. She bows up. So she like just tries to get as straight as she can and like slides out of it or out of your arms. <laughs> So she wants you to like hold her up standing or like turn around facing you so that she can like talk and look at you. Um, she loves all that stuff. I'm gonna take a drink of coffee. So what else? Some of the things she hates. Um, she hates the car seat still. That never stops. Ellie didn't mind the car seat as much. She will cry about 50% of the time. And then she'll do this thing right now where she'll talk and then she'll cry and then she'll talk she'll, and then she'll cry. So she'll go, ah, 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 <laughs> right back to back. It's so funny. Um, she hates um, the hiccups. Every time she gets a hiccup, she gets mad. She hates being held like a baby or um, sitting. She's a very particular baby. So I've heard people say she's a high maintenance baby, but I don't know if you say that about your own kid, but I just, I don't think she's high maintenance. She's just, she knows what she wants. She knows how she wants to be held. She knows when you're doing it wrong and she will let you know. <laughs> um, her four month appointments coming up this next month. I actually need to schedule it. Whoops. So I need to get on that. And so we'll find out how much she weighs and all that. Um, she's always been skinny, but like she's a little bit bigger than what Ellie was at this age. So I don't really have any concerns there. She's actually, she's always had a hard time latching, um, just since she was born, just like, we'll latch on, pop off, latch on, pop off, latch on, pop off. And then this month, just within the last like two weeks or so, she's gotten really good. So she's finally, um, like stays on the boob um okay then go back to your room she pooped she needs me to wipe her mom life okay what was i saying <laughs> so she is she's latching better um she stays latched on for you know five ten minutes at a time um let's talk about sleep so um third month was like I got the gauntlet so the first two or three weeks were awful like she was sleep she's always slept bad like she sleeps good but she wakes up every two to three hours which I guess is like you know normal but when you hear other babies that sleep through the night you just want to like die <laughs> but she would just wake up nurse and go back to sleep so at least I got lucky with that but the third month the first couple weeks she woke up every two hours and I was dying. I was crying. I was telling Riley, I can't do this anymore. Like I'm going to lose it. Um, so then Christmas came and we were so busy with the holidays that like, I think she got worn out throughout the day. And even though we got her down to nap, I think in the evening night, she was so worn out that she actually slept, like actually slept good. Also, I was desperate at that point and I was like, these are the holidays, I need my sleep, I'm gonna do anything I can. So right before bedtime, 
which was like 10 o'clock, we would give her gripe water, like five milliliters, I think is what we gave her, and then a little bit of baby Tylenol. And so we gave her both of those things. Um, and then she slept all through the night on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day night. So I think that reset her schedule, like her inner schedule. Like, and she, I don't know, she set a new schedule for herself with that. And so now since Christmas, it's January 7th now. So since Christmas, she's actually slept and she only wakes up at like four. So she'll sleep from like 10 to four and then she'll wake up and I'll nurse her for a long time. Like she stays latched now. Like she will nurse for like it, before she would nurse for like 10 minutes and then I'd put her back down and she'd be up two hours later. Well now she'll nurse for like an hour, but then she'll sleep like three or four hours after that. So I feel just so much better. I just feel like I'm a whole new person. Like I can handle things better. I, month three was hard at the beginning. I think that I took on way too much. So I had her, I hurried back to work. I hurried back to like my normal routine that I had when I just had Ellie. And it's just not the same. I can't do that routine with a baby. So this month I've cut like everything I can just to make life more manageable. And it made me really sad and I cried over a lot of things because we didn't do basketball for Ellie. I had to take a break from whiz kids. I'm just cutting, cutting, cutting just so that I can catch up. Like I think, and I, the only thing that gets me by is knowing that this is temporary. This is just a season this will be over soon and in a couple years or in a year or so she's gonna be back where Ellie was where I could kind of do things that like she took regular naps and slept through the night and stuff like that where and then I'm more used to it then I'm gonna be able to pick everything back up but just right now I need to realize that what matters right now is cuddling my sweet baby and that's it like doing enough to get by. So that's financially, that's enough activities to get by with Ellie. I just, I'm not gonna overwhelm us right now, like anymore, because I don't wanna look back in a year, which I already look back and think I did way too much. I had way too much on myself. I should have just relaxed that season of my life and enjoyed the baby cuddles and just took the time to take care of my family. I'm not the mom and wife that I need to be and that should be number one priority and then all the stuff should take number two because that's what matters right now. Um, so that's where I'm at right now. Um, I mentioned earlier that I gave her some Tylenol at bedtime. It's because she's teething right now. Uh, so she's teething way earlier than Ellie and, and it actually is having an effect on her while with Ellie she didn't really care that she was teething like I I would feel her teeth and but you she didn't drool she didn't chew on her teeth she had did not, never had a fever um Lexi has all the symptoms because that's Lexi <laughs> so Lexi's definitely teething and so the Tylenol is helping um I just let her chew on her fingers everyone says everyone around me is like get one of those toys and you put in her mouth she has like 20 of those toys but she's not to the age where she like knows how to put it in her mouth and keep it in there and they're so big that they're like too big for her mouth um so i don't care chew on your fingers i'll sanitize them that's fine i don't if it makes her happy um oh i forgot to mention she's rolling over like crazy and she's starting to crawl guys she's four months old and she's trying to crawl by five months, I swear she's going to be crawling. And Ellie didn't crawl until she was eight months old. So <sighs> second baby, I guess. I don't know. She's just so active. She's super active. She wants to move. She is on the move all the time. She is a go-getter of a kid. Um, I'm going to check my notes and see if I forgot anything. So we're done talking about Lexi. So if you guys want to stick around and hear my postpartum update, here it comes. <laughs> so weight wise, I actually lost more weight this month. I actually lost, I think like four pounds in a week before the holidays. Um, and then I gained it all back during the holidays, um, which I don't care. <laughs> um, 
I'm following, uh, if you guys go look it up on Instagram, it's hashtag all foods fit. And it's all about um, uh, intuitive eating and just not being worried about your weight and just being happy with where you're at and eating for your health to like feel good. Um, it's just great. I, I'll, I think I'm gonna do a video on it. So um, that's coming soon, so stay tuned. But I did lose a lot of weight this month. It's mainly because I've been so busy with the kids. I just haven't been eating. So if you want to lose weight, that's your tip. Just forget to eat or have two kids and never eat warm food ever. Um, so that's where I'm at. I feel good in my body. Um, I like how my arms and my neck and my legs and on my face, I like how all that looks. My stomach is still a little flabby, um, but that's my fault. I'm not working out, but that's on the back burner. Like I said, I'm cutting stuff and working out's getting cut because it just is so i don't care um but if you have a little flab around your stomach i think it's normal i wouldn't worry too much about it my husband still loves me the way i look and that's all that matters uh also what else oh the hair loss oh i gotta update you guys on the hair loss has not stopped has gotten worse officially two days ago i noticed the balding so if you see my hairline used to be like a circle right here and now I'm getting like a straight up widow's peak. I usually don't wear my hair up anymore because of the balding and the hair loss. Um, but today we were kind of running out of the house and so I just threw it up in a ponytail. But I look bald and yeah, it's getting bad. Like especially right here. Yeah, and my friend recommended shampoo and um, it didn't work. <laughs> Uh, it made my hair a little bit more silky out of the bath, but uh, the same amount of hair loss. Um, so that's still happening. Uh, that's been my main issue. Um, no crazy hormones, just sleep, sleep deprivation at the beginning was causing um, a little bit more um, emotions. <laughs> but other than that, I think that's it. I don't know if you still want to see my belly, but if you do, I'll show you. So I bought these jeans for work. Our uniform changed. And... They're pretty tight, so, and they're really high-waisted. So, like, my belly goes all the way down to here, but I don't want to show you my underwear. But you can kind of see it's just kind of flabby, but that's okay. And they're really tight, but I bought them tight because I just know that they'll stretch out over time. So, yeah, I feel really good in my weight right now. I attribute that to not gaining a lot during my pregnancy. Um, because of be trying to be vegan and 100% veg vegetarian and also um, the foods I craved were you know healthy foods like fruits vegetables salads smoothies um, so that's what I attribute it to and I had a lot of food aversion I didn't want like cooked foods like chili or spaghetti or anything like that it just sounded gross most of my pregnancy um, so that's what I attribute um, my weight loss to all right so I will update you guys probably on Instagram when I go to the four month appointment on her weight and everything. And I'll insert some clips after this of little baby Lexi if you guys wanna stick around. So I'll see you next time. Go ahead and subscribe to my page so that you see more um, baby update videos. Um, I'd love for you guys to stick around, like this video and comment down below and let me know what your four month old is doing. See you guys later. Your mama. <laughs> oh, come and get me. Come and get me. Lexi, come get mama. Trying to crawl, you get that butt up. Get that butt up, you do.